unexplored by man. These are the waters of the Gulf of Mexico off the west coast of Florida. This is a sponge fisherman, a special breed of man dedicated to the most dangerous of all occupations. Socrates, where are you going? I wear this suit. I go down. No, you're not. We're going home. We can't go home with an empty boat, Pop. I can hear them laugh when we bring this garbage in the auction market. You know what we need? Uh. We need a diver who's got eyes like an eel, a nose like a shark so can smell sponges a mile away, a diver who will go down and he won't come up until a boat's loaded with $100 strings. And you got him. He's right here on board. Oh, hmm. Where? Hmm? Who? Me! Who else? <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Give your papa a big kiss. Sandy, show you down the river. It's oh, good your bag. <laughs> Did the boys bother her very much when I was away? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here, woman? Why aren't you home in your kitchen cooking? Who should I cook for? Empty house? Listen how she talks. For a long time, you know, see each other. Give kiss, eh? Say big hello. <laughs> He lends you money. Now he wants to run your life. <laughs> hey, Tony, bring me one of those sponges. When we're alone, I'll, uh, I'll say big hello. Huh, hey, Mama? Mm? Say, what you trying to do here, huh? Oh, let him have it. We got plenty. Thanks. Hey, Pop, look. Wool sponges. A whole load. Mike, that's the wool I ever see. Hundred dollar strings. They come out of deep water. Hey, Mike, they're reading out the bills. Come on. Go ahead. I go back to my kitchen and cook. Go. 
She's trying to get rid of you. How do you like that? <laughs> Repeats on the cargo spawn from the boat Helios. Ajax Sponge Company, 17,500. <laughs> Where do you get that sponge? Where did you get it? That's what we want to know. You seen what I brought? You like, huh? Ah, ah, sweet sponge. <laughs> okay, okay, sport. How about letting us in on the big secret? We'd like to dance too. Hey, Sinan. Where did you get it? We went to the 12 mile reef. Nobody's been out the 12 mile reef. Not since it killed my brother, Pete. That's where we went, right out to Pete's marker, where he's still in the water. We went way down, over 20 fathoms down. Talk, talk, big talk. Pete's pants fit loose on you. You lose your feet in his shoes. And you too scared to go down. I went down, all right. If you went down, you saw the reef. What does it look like? Oh, Bo, Bo. You're looking at a ghost. I died down there. The coral is beautiful. But sharp, like a raisin, cuts your suit to ribbons. There are caves everywhere. Your airline gets tangled up until you think you, you're never going to get out of them. Cliffs that drop. I don't know how deep. There's an undersea tide that runs just like a river, keeps pushing you off. I wouldn't go down there again for all the sponges in the world. You spend your money. You go broke. You go down again. Now, ready to announce the winning bid. Mr. Carson of the New York Sponge Company. Bids $22,500. Sit down! Sit down! Everybody! Patriotis, come on! I buy the drinks! What's on your mind? You want to sell your sponges? Sure. I'll give you $600 for them. $600? Are you kidding? Sold. They're yours. What are you doing, Pop? After all the work we did bringing them in, you're giving them away. Tony, the man wants to buy, we sell. We're lucky to get stuff like this off our hands. Okay, Pop. Hey, <laughs> you borrow money, you pay. Huh? Little for you, little for me. My hands still itch. Then scratch it. That's all you get. Come on, Tony. Nickel, nickel, nickel. If you don't be careful, I'm going to get your boat. You'll never get my boat, Sir Pote. You old skin flint. Hey, Tony, please, you don't call me bad name, huh? He's right. You are a skin flint. Always you pinch, 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 pinch. Don't get the idea you're going to get our boat. It belongs in the family. If you don't pay, it's going to belong in my family. Tony. Tony and Mike. Where? Dead. How you feel, Tony? Fine, Pop.
Willem zu Krati? Ja. for good luck. No, you not touch for free. It's going to cost you five dollars. <laughs> Sponges, what do you mean? You you mean we go to 12 Mile Reef? Is that what you say? Who said 12 Mile Reef? We're going to pick the glades. Mike, what's the matter with you, Mike? You forget the hook boats. Who's scared of hook boats? Me. Socrates of Hulis. I'm scared. We don't belong in the glades. Who said so? Tony, you don't understand. Long time ago, before you born, you papa. Me, plenty other Greeks, we come to Tarpon, the Englishmen go to Key West, and they work the glades. The cockheads. In old days, is a plenty sponge. Any place you go, not for everybody, we don't have no trouble. But now, all the beds are picked. Is no sponge left except in deep water, like 12 Mile Reef or, or glades. But the conks. Englishman, whatever you call them, he say, no. We are going to pick the glaze. But Mike, if, if they catch us. They're not going to catch us. Why do you worry so much? There are 10,000 little keys in the glaze. We start before the sun comes up. By noon, we have finished a day's work, and then we hide like a little mouse in his hole. To which we come home. If we're lucky. If we're lucky. 
Tony got the cross, didn't he? Yeah. The bishop blessed the boat, didn't he? How much more luck do we need? I'm gonna work bottom, Pop. Don't forget, you promised. I'm gonna find the most beautiful sponges you ever saw. All wool, $200 straight. And you're going to pay me, and my hand going to stop eating. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do when we get home is kiss you off. How do you like that, you old skin flip? Oh, Tony! Oh, Tony! Oh, 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 Stop the engine, it's too much noise. Come up, it's my turn to go down. Shallow water's the safest place to break in. No place safe, Tony. I remember up north, 33 feet, I go down, stay too long, I get a bench. If they don't pack me ice to freeze my blood, I be dead right now. You can't scare me, I'm going down. We'll see. What do you mean, we'll see? You promised. Listen, Tony, we gotta get out of here fast. We got no time to fool around. Who's gonna fool around? I'm gonna work bottom, same as you. You promised me, Pop. You can't do that to me, Pop. You gave me a word. You said that if I... Every sound like a bullet. I might, might look over there. Oh, Mike, I know like. What you know like? Cran. He don't fly just because he like to fly. Something scared him. Ah, uh, he just finished feeding. He's going home. Come on, rig me. I go down. Okay, all right. Sir, no start engine for compressor. Use hand. Okay. Tony, don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't try any tricks or I'll chop her in two. Do like you say. That's right. Just do what I tell you and everything will be fine. We want your sponges. All of them. Why, you... Not Tony. Put down the gun, put it down.
what you get. You Greeks ought to know better to come into our waters. Where do you get that stuff, your waters? You cocks don't own the glades. There's no law that says we can't work here. Tradition makes its own laws. Keep out of the glades, the next time we burn you down to the water line. You and Arnold bring the Gwyneth in. Let's go. Anytime you pick the glades, you get the same thing. Thomas got that load. and some furniture, tables, chairs, stove, a bed. Then you know what? What? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. You're going to move in. We're going to move in. We're going to get married. You and me? Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> really? But wait a minute. Maybe I've forgotten I can't remember. Have you asked me yet? I'm asking now. Why don't you take my hand and say it? Gwyneth, will you marry me? Gwyneth, will you marry me? Suppose I say no. You won't. Tell me, Arnold. Do you love me? You know I do. Yes, I know you do, and I love you, too. Mike, I love one of my brothers. <laughs> well, I'm not your brother. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> Gwyneth, stop fooling. Will you marry me or won't you? Arnold, if I said yes, I'd feel no. And if I said no, I'd feel yes. I, I don't know what to say. But maybe if I get acquainted with lots and lots of boys and help me make up my mind. Yeah, and what do I do while you're being helped? You can get acquainted with lots and lots of girls. I don't want lots of girls. I just want you. Me? Marriage would be nice. A husband. A baby. But I think I'm too young. Don't you think so, Arnold? <laughs> no, I don't want to get married. Not just yet. <laughs> <laughs> I guess a girl has to be hard to get. Makes it all the nicer when you get her. Hey, Arnold, better lend a hand before you spend that share. <laughs> <laughs> do any good. We can't prove anything. We gotta take care of this ourselves. This is the boat. The sponges are here somewhere. They hide them someplace. What are you going to do? Open every door, look in every place? The sponges, they lost, they gone. Hey, where are you going now? I'm going to find that fellow. I'm going to see how brave he is without the axe. You go back to the boat. Go on. OK. Well, maybe you're going to need somebody to carry you. You like to collect conks, we'd like to collect some, too. OK. We go together. All right. Uh, 
Ah, uh, such a big place, so many streets. How are you going to find? What would we do if we got home with all those sponges? Uh, what we do, we celebrate. They're just what they're doing. Celebrating. We'll try here first. Ha-ha! Thieves, robbers, crooks! We have come to measure you for your coffins. Operator, I may have the police, quick. <laughs> What's the matter, you never seen Griggs before? Sure. Look how scared they are. A room full of conks, scared of three Greeks. Two Greeks. I'm not counting him. Well, what about it? Can a man get a drink around here? Why not? Jamison, whiskey for the Greeks. Yes, Mr. Reeks. You sure we don't spoil the party, huh? Sit down. Hey, Tony. Well, we might as well get acquainted. This is my pop, Mike Petrakis. Socrates Hullis, great. And I'm Tony. I'm Thomas Reese. These are my two sons. It's David, that's Griff. This is Arnold Dix. Oh, the man with the axe. I'm his daughter, Gwyneth Reese. Gwyneth? Hey, that's a pretty name. Young Greek, looks at a pretty girl, it gets hot blood. <laughs> What's on your mind, Greek? What's on my mind? Sponges. What do you think? Ah, how you fooled us. We work and we work and you take everything away. But no hard feelings, huh? No. This time you win, next time we win. What's the difference, huh? Do you mind if I dance with your daughter, Mr. Reese? Don't ask me, ask you. <laughs> Go ahead, ask me. You might have better luck if you ask me. Dance? Sure. Why not? That guy acts like he owns you. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. What kind of an answer do you call that? Why don't you find out? Maybe I will. You better be careful. He might eat you up alive. You won't even bother to take off your hat. I got a pretty good appetite myself. Yeah? He let it take away your sponges. I'm dancing with this girl. Tony. The record's still playing. We're making our own music. No, Arnold! Is a company, three is a crowd. I'm gonna be the biggest crowd that kid ever saw. my hand, too. Sure. Do you always do what people tell you to? Sure. Ask me to kiss you, see what happens. Crazy Greek. Hey, you want to know what my real name is? Adonis. My mama named me after a Greek god. I'm a very beautiful young man. 
Why, the whole bunch of you must be crazy coming here. You know how conks feel about Greeks. You want me to tell you how uh, Greeks feel about conks? You're always poaching in the glades. Why don't you stay over the line where you belong? Where do you get that line stuff? The glades belong to everybody. You got a lot of nerve. I know one Greek that's got a lot of nerve. Oh, I don't want to fight. All I want to do is hold hands. Hey, you're pretty. Anybody ever tell you were pretty? Oh, you don't need that. Come on, ask me to kiss you. I'll be glad to oblige. Do I have to ask? No. <coughs> hey, I want to know what's with you and that guy. He just wants to marry me, that's all. Him? He's too old for a kid like you. He must be at least 27. He's going to buy a house with his share of your sponges. We're going to move in, have lots of kids. Hey, do you like blue eyes? Yes, I do. Marry me and all your kids will have blue eyes. I'll guarantee it. Personally. <laughs> You're real crazy. <laughs> Cut it out, Greek. It's all right. We've been properly introduced. You're sure you don't want to be kissed? You don't know what you're missing? Let me know if you change your mind. You smell prettier than any flower. <laughs> You're absolutely crazy. Greek? Yeah? Tony, don't hit him. He's mine. He's all mine. Okay. Now I'll see how big a man you are without the axe. How you want to fight? Conk style? Greek style. <clears throat> hey, stop him. You don't know what will hurt your father. You don't know my pop. What do you think of your fellow now, huh? Not a very good fighter without the axe, huh? Hey, Tony, you kiss the girl goodbye. We go. Hey, Tony, that's enough goodbye. <laughs> I'll be seeing you, honey. Tonight, my dreams, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Taste of my fist! <laughs> All right. Okay, now we go home. We're not going home. We're going out to the 12 mile reef. Mike. Mike, what you say? I'm sick of going home with an empty boat. When we go home, we're going to have sponges. A full load. More than Sinan. We're going to have money. We're going to pay support them. A man has to do his work. He can't be scared all the time. Come on! Pull him back!
its marker? What are you thinking, Mike? I think about Tony. I promise he would work bottom. I... That's the reef, breathing. I tell you the truth, Tony. It's beautiful down there. Way down is the reef. There's lots of fish. All kinds of fish. All the life is in the reef. Prettiest thing you've ever seen. There's grass down there. Grass like in the forest. And when the tide runs, it makes that grass move. Caves down there full of sponges. You have never seen so many sponges. You go in, you pick, you pick all you want. Millions of sponges. First time you go down in deep water, you get scared. Oh, you don't know how scared you can be. After a while, you forget. But the reef. The reef never forgets. It waits. It waits all the time. Then one day when you are not looking, it grabs you. Tony, I've been thinking about a lot of things. I'm going to work tomorrow. You can't. Pop, you promised me. You gave me your word. I know, and I know how you feel. And you will die when the right time comes. But you see, I promised your mama too. I promised that I would take care of you. That's why you're going to stay here this time. You understand, boy.
line paid out. Call away. Like he dropped off the reef. So, so, hold him, Tony. Try to hold him with the lifeline. Stop the compressor! Stop the compressor, Tony! He cannot work the valve in the stock! Give him no more air! Come in, I start the engine quick.
Greek boat just came in. Must have had an accident. The man on board looked like he was hurt pretty bad. Was it the boy? Couldn't tell. Whoever it was, they had him packed in ice. Saw the ambulance come down, the big crowd. The Coast Guard was there, too. She slip off the reef, line pay out all the line, all the holes. Look like valve stick. He come up fast, fast, suit fill up. Who's got? How he is stuck? He's dead. to file a report with the Coast Guard. We want to know how this happened. Bring along a couple of members of your crew. All right, we'll go with you. George Clyde, come with me. You watch the boat. your share last week. Tonight they picked for us. These are our sponge. Sure, we'll be glad to buy your drink. All right, let's get them unloaded. Fire! Get the 
street boat burning. We'll go right over. Stand by to get underway. started? Howard! Paul, did you see who did it? I work. I come. Howard, tell the man who burned the boat. Two, three boats. Did you see who it was? No. Please, old man. Tony, what we're gonna do now, huh? Lieutenant, can you help tow our boat home to talk? Sure, son. That's what we're here for. We'll give you a tow. Take Pop home, Uncle So. Hey, Tony. Tony, where are you going? We're not going to get away with it. All alone, what you can do, Tony. You come with us. I think Pop would take it or feet. I'm going to find out who did it. I'm going to get our sponges back. I tell you, no, you're coming with us, Tony, because you mom and... You shouldn't be walking around like this. These people will kill you. You shouldn't have stayed here. You should have gone home. I'd like to talk to your father. I've got a feeling he's a reasonable man. Look, he's my father, but he's a Kong, too. I'm afraid he's he just... He's a big shot. Everybody around here looks up to him. He can make him get back our sponges. Where do you live? Over on Frangia Pandy's week. Here, I'll take you. because I think you're a fair man. I used to think that Greeks and Conks, there wasn't much difference between us. The house we live in is, is like this house. The work we do is the same as the work you do. When one of us dies, you understand because it's the same as if one of you dies. But now I'm beginning to wonder. What do you mean? Somebody stole the sponges that his father brought up from the 12 Mile Reef. They burned his boat. Who did? He doesn't know. He wants you to help him. What kind of people live here, anyway? Don't they have any respect for the dead? Who, who's dead? Didn't you see? Where were you? We were out in the harbor. His father was killed bringing up those sponges. It's like robbing a dead man. We didn't know. We saw the boat, but we didn't know. You stole the sponges! We didn't know! You give them back! We haven't got them to give back. When Longarm and the others saw us raiding the boat, they all came. Ah! All we got was one string. When Arnold saw the boat, he, he thought that... He thought... What did you think, Arnold? But Where are you going? I'm going to find Longarm. Longarm's the kind that keeps what he gets. You'll just make more trouble for yourself. If you want to help him, you'll give him the money you got from the Glades. What for? If we had the sponges, we'd give them back. If it wasn't for you, they wouldn't have raided the boat. We will have an accounting. Only David. Yes, Father. Griff? Griff! Yes, Father. Arnold? Well? to keep what he's got. Well, he doesn't matter anyway. We're three against one, and tomorrow morning I'll put the money in your hand. Thanks, Mr. Reese. You don't owe us any thanks. The money's due you. I'll see you in the morning, sir. If you haven't any place to stay, why don't you sleep here tonight? I'll be okay. I'll see you in the morning. Night.
glad you came back. It's not the money that's important. It's what you do to yourself and to Gwyneth. Where is she? She's in the house. Arnold, you've got to remember that you're a man and that Greek is only a boy. A woman has a soft spot in her heart for a boy. It's pity that Gwyneth feels for him, but your jealousy makes something else out of that pity. Now, when the Greek comes tomorrow morning, we'll give him an accounting. You can hand him the money yourself. Gwyneth will like that. Won't be here tomorrow morning. We had a little talk. I convinced him he ought to go home. You'd get into trouble trying to help me. I don't care. They burned your boat. Well, now you've got a boat. Well, I don't know how to work a hook boat. Oh, it's not hard. You can learn. No, that's no good. You gotta go deep for good sponges. You mean with a diving suit and an air pump? Hey. Sure. We could haywire the equipment mid-deck. 
It'll crowd her a bit, but it'll work. All we need is one load off the reef, and we could fix up the egg. Twelve mile reef? Sure, where else? The glades? The reef's our only chance. Have you ever been down before? Sure. Pop taught me how to wear the suit in the bay near Tarpon. Oh, Tony, I'm scared. The reef's too dangerous. I'm scared, too. You don't know how scared you can be, but you forget. Gwen, if you can't ever imagine how beautiful it is down there. There's all kinds of fish, and when they get used to you, they come right up to your face window and look in. You can feed them just like they were pets. They, they even nibble right at your fingers. And then there's the reef. Bright coral, like a garden full of flowers. The deeper you go, the more beautiful it is. The light gets dim, like in a church almost. You get so you don't want to come up. Hey, I almost forgot we're hungry. Okay, come on. Just a little stingray. Hey, how long since you used this sail? Hardly ever. Got any fishing line? We'll patch it. If you raise it, Arnold couldn't help sting it. Not tonight, he won't see us. <sighs> we'll wait until dark. Well, there's some line in that chest. this, you'll find out why they call us Kong. Hey, that's really good. Your mama sure showed you. Oh, she didn't show me. I never knew my mother. She died when I was born. What's the matter? Nothing. A minute ago, you were thinking something. What were you thinking? About your father? Your brothers? 
That when you helped me, you turned against them? Is that what you were thinking? You're just a kid. Oh, look who's talking. You know, all I have to do is yell, and he'll find you and take you home. <gasps> You're going home with me. What about your folks, your mother? Maybe she won't want me. They'll want you, because I want you. I can always get off, and Arnold will pick me up. Don't you want to go home with me? Oh, Tony. Mama was awfully worried about you. We all were. Gwyneth, this is my sister Penny. Hello. Hello. It's about time you come back. Where have you been? We afraid something happened to you. I got beat up. She brought me home. You know my Uncle Soak. Where's Mama? She goes to cemetery. Every day she goes to the cemetery. Honey, I've got to go to her. Take care of her, Penny. Oh, Mama, you don't belong here. You're not dead, you're alive. You don't belong here, you belong home. I wait all my life. Ever since I married Papa, I wait for him to come home. I know he's gone. He's never come back. But still I wait. I wait. Pop wouldn't like it if he knew you were out here, Mom. Oh, he'd get mad. You know how mad he'd get. He'd want us to go on just like he did. Pete died, like we've got to. Come on, Mama, let's go.
Hands of soap. Where are they? In there. Hey, Penny. Penny. Mama, look what Tony brought home. Hey, you're pretty. Who she is? She's Tony's conch girl from Key West. You want to hear her name, Mama? Her name is Gwyneth. It's a pretty name. Hi, Tony. Go ahead, tell you, Mama, what you're going to do. No way. I'll tell you. He's get hookbot. He's going to work sponge like the conch. He a little boy. We'll bring in one load and we'll fix up the egg leak. Hear that? Listen how he talk, you little boy. How are you going to do this, Tony? All by yourself? If Pete was here, if Papa was here, you so could... So I'm here. So what's the matter with me? Oh, don't be angry, Tony. You love my Tony? Yes, I do. I like you. You good girl for my Tony. If you love him, you don't let him do this. Every time he goes out, you're going to die. Every night you wait all by yourself like I wait. You're going to be scared like me. You see my face? You see my hair from being scared? He'll listen to you. You tell him no. Sure you're scared. I'm scared too, but you can't be scared all your life. We've got a boat and we're going to work. That's what you want, isn't it, Mama? Or do you want me to sit around the house hanging my head? He has to do what he wants to do. Can't you understand? I can't tell him what to do. Nobody can. You might as well make up your mind, Mama. When we go? <sighs> right away. We'll start rigging her tomorrow. Oh, Mama. Talk to me, honey. What do you <laughs> want me to say, honey? Well, say something nice, honey. Like, like, what do we got to eat, honey? Oh, I forget. You come long way, huh? I, I, I fix something for you. You wait, I fix. Wait till you taste my mama's cooking. Got no diving suit. Need new diving suit. New diving suit need money. Where are you gonna get money? Why you look at Sufotis? He don't let you smoke from his cigarette. You wanna make a little bet? everything goodbye. Where do you get that stuff that debt is burned? I owe you a lot of money. I can feel it cutting my neck. How much? Twelve thousand dollars, maybe. Little more, little less. Twelve thousand dollars. You hear that, Uncle Soap? Well, we're going to pay you back every cent. What do you think of that? Oh, I'm glad, Tony. You make me so happy. But before you pay, you want to borrow a little more, eh? You need new debt, new engine, new suit. Forgive me, Tony. I have to say no. Who said anything about money? Oh, please, I'm old Greek. I can smell when someone wants to borrow. Huh? We don't want any money. Then what you want? Hey, don't tell me I don't want to listen. Look, I don't give. This is going to cost you a nickel. All we want yeah, is a... See, yeah. All we want is diving suit. You got plenty. Just give us one. They don't want nothing. All they want is little diving suit. That's all they want. Hey, listen to me. How I talk, I must be crazy. They should lock me up. I, I give you diving suit. You got a big, kind heart. Look at the nice suit you give to Tony. What do you expect for free? From you, that's what we expect. Thank you for nothing. <laughs> What's so funny? You going deep water? You going dive? You going to work in that boat? Why don't you go count your money? <laughs> Just like his papa, he got answer for everything. Okay, Tony, we're ready. Man, we're ready to leave. I'm going with you. No, honey. 
It's going to be a rough trip. Look, you don't know how to handle a hook boat. I do. I can help. You'd be in the way. Tony, take her. She'd be with you when you come up. Please, Tony. Okay, honey. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Penny. Tony, take Papa's cap, huh? For good luck. Sure, Mama. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mama. Come back with boat full of sponges, we call them Big Thorn. Give me the slip if I hadn't run low on gas. You stood up for him. You stood up for the Greek. Yeah, you tried to give him our money. Sell your boat, now he's got your daughter in the glades. All right! I was wrong. Wherever they are, we'll find them. And we'll bring Gwyneth back. We'll give that kid something he'll never forget. It's awfully rough. Don't you think you ought to wait till the wind dies down? The folks spot us, we won't get another chance. It's too rough. That's too tall holes. No good. Maybe no gonna work. I'm going down. I'm the captain. I say no. I'm the diver. I say yes. Come on, finish rigging me. Come on, will ya? So many things I want to tell you. Everything I know, if
little Tony Bennett. You mean Big Tony. Come up. Get more slack, more slack. You know, come up when I give the signal, huh? You have trouble? You all right? I got caught in a cave. But I got out. Tony, what's that? It's blood. Well, I... I guess I must have bumped my head. Getting out of the cave. Were you scared? Scared? I was petrified. I bet. Right. This 
scared. You know, how scared you can be. So, a book coming. <laughs> Get him, Arnold! Watch out, Tony! Tony! I'll help you, Tony! Come on, Stay soap. back, Greek! Let him alone! Come along, Gwyneth. Come along. Are you with us or with him? I'm with him. I'm his wife. Dad. Oh, don't be mad, Mr. Reese. You think she's just a kid, that we're both a couple of kids, but we're not kids anymore. It's no good to fight. No good. Maybe she is married to a Greek, but she's still your daughter. You pulled me in. You could have let me drown. Oh, what's the matter with you, Dad? She didn't do so bad. Look who you got for a son-in-law. Me, Adonis Petrakis. I'm a very beautiful young man. <laughs> it is, Tony, Mama, it is! You should see the sponges, Mama, you should see! Hey, this time I'm gonna get paid, eh? Tony, he's alive. 